السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Uh, we're going to solve today question uh, number nine that uh, you had in the mock exam. Uh, this question is from topic uh, five, uh, electricity and uh, magnetism, uh, high level. Topic five and topic nine. Here we have two equal positive fixed point charges. Q is 44 micro column. And point P are at the vertices of an equilateral equilateral triangle. The side is point 48 meter. So that the magnetic the magnitude of the resultant electric field at point P is a three uh, mega in newton per column. Now we know that electric field is a vector quantity and it's the electric force over this charge and this will equal from Coulomb's law it's k the value of the charge divided by r squared k is column constant now since i have the two charges are positive this is positive and this is positive we will imagine that there is a positive test small charge at point B. Now we're going to see the electric field from each charge. This is the first charge, I'm going to call it charge one, and this is the second charge, charge two. Now, between the electric field one and the point B, I have two positive charge. So this charge will be going away from the big charge Q, the small test charge that we said, we we'll imagine there is a small test charge, a small Q here, it will go away. So I'm going to extend this line and the electric field, it's in the same direction of the electric force. The electric force is repulsive. So it's moving away from the big charge Q1. And this I'm gonna call it P1. Similarly now, second charge, Two. The small test charge Q is going to move away from the big charge Q. We have a repulsive force, so I'm going to extend the line between them. And here it's moving away, so this will be E2, the electric field due to the big charge Q. Now I'm going to break down these two vectors. Here I have this is a triangle. Equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle, all sides are equal. So here this is point 48, point 48, point 48 meter. And all the angles are equal. So this angle will be 60 and this is 60. And this angle, all of the, all this angle is 60. So this is, will be 30 and 30, 30 and 30. Now, We'll break down, them down to X and Y component, horizontal and vertical components. So this is the horizontal and here the vertical component. E1. E1 will break it to. This is E1 in X direction and this will be E1 in Y direction. OK. Now. This angle here is the same as this angle here because head to head angle are uh, are equals. They are congruent. When you had head to head angle, they're congruent. So if this is 30, this as well will be 30. So in y direction, I will have E1. Since it's adjacent, so it will be cosine the angle 30. Y direction, it will be A1 sine the angle 30. Now, A2, I'm going to use different color. A2, same thing. I'll break it down to X component and Y component. It's in the second quadrant. This is first quadrant, second, third quadrant. This is fourth quadrant. X and Y. So six second quadrant. 
will be this is the picture. So this is the X component here and Y component is there. Again, this angle is the same as this one. Hit to hit angle. So if this is 30, this as well will be 30. So I will have. This one will be E2 sine 30. And here on the top, E2 cosine 30. Now, since the charges are equal, so E1 sine 30 and E2 sine 30, they cancel each other out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write the vectors here. I have X component and Y component. I have here E1 and this is E2. X direction for E1, I have E1 sine the angle 30. And here I will have E1 cosine the angle 13. In E2, E2, it's in the negative. This side is positive. And X is in the negative direction. So negative, so it will be negative. E2 sine 13. And here E2 cosine 13. Second step we add. E1 should equal E2. We're going to calculate it because they have the same distance and same charges. So here I have zero. When we add X component is zero. Y component, I will have two E cosine the angle theta. So E1 equals E2. Both of them, they will equal K. K is 9 times 10 to the power 9 times the value of the charge. The value of the charge is 44 microcolon. So it will be 44 times 10 to the power negative 6 divided by the distance between Q and the point is point 48. And all the distance are equal. Square. And this value. Will be one point seven hundred and eighteen times ten to the power six newton per column. This is the electric field due to uh, charge uh, Q one and Q two, which are are identical charge. So the resultant the resultant electric field will be two e sine the angle theta and it will be in the positive y direction in the positive y direction or upward this is the direction of the electric field so it will be two times 1.718 times 10 to the power 6 cosine the angle theta this will equal 2.97 times 10 to the power 6 in Newton per column. This is the resultant electric field in positive y direction. So the direction state, the direction of the resultant electric field, it will be vertically upward or on the plane of y. Okay. Now, C, point P is now moved closer to the charges. A point charge, small q, equals negative 2. So here we put small q, negative 2, microcolumn, and it has mass equals 0.25 kilogram, is placed at this point P. When X is small compared to this distance D, the magnitude of the net force on the charge Q, small Q, is 111 X. 111 X. This is the value of F. Explain why Q will perform simple harmonic oscillation when it's released. Here, this is positive. This is positive. 
and this will be negative. So here we have attractive force, and here also will be attractive force. So Q will be attracted to the big uh, charge, uh, the first big charge to the left, and the second big charge to the left. So it will keep oscillating between these two charges and the conditions to have simple harmonic motion force should be directly proportional with the displacement, but in the opposite direction. And the acceleration as well is directly proportional with the displacement, but in the opposite direction. Now, D calculate the period of Oscillation of Q. Calculate the period of oscillation. Now, I know from Newton's second law, acceleration, it's force divided by M. And I know the acceleration is the angular velocity square times the displacement X. So acceleration will be F over M equals omega squared times x. The value of f is given to us, which was 115 times x, divided by the value of m is 0.25 kilogram. This will equal omega squared times x. So here, x and x, we cancel out. I can find omega. It will be square root of 115 divided by point. 25 kilograms, and this will give us 21.45 radian per second. Now I need the period. Period is time to complete one oscillation. So T will be 2 pi divided by the angular velocity, but by omega, so it will be 0.29 seconds. Point twenty nine second. E. We have two identical positive point charges, X and Y, are placed point three apart. So we have two positive charges. This is the first charge X. This is the second positive charge Y. The separation distance between them is point. Meter. In the mid, in the point midway between X and Y, we have O. This is O, the center in the midway between these two charges. Now the charge on X and the charge on Y, both of them they have the same charge, which is four microcolum, four microcolum. Calculate the electric potential at the midpoint of. Now the formula for the electric potential scale, it's a scalar quantity. When scalar quantity, we don't care about direction, but the magnitude of the four, the, the charges, uh, when we substitute the magnitude of the charges, we have to take into consideration the um, tab of the charge. Is it positive? We put positive. If it's uh, negative, we put negative. So the formula is K, Q divided by R. Since we have two charges, charge one and charge two, so the total, the electric potential total would be V1 plus V2. Now we have the same K and same distance, same distance in the midway, half of this distance, it's 0.15 meter, and here 0.15. 15 meter. Okay, so it will be K. I'm going to take it outside as a common factor. 9 times 10 to the power 9 divided by, they have the same distance, both charges, so it will be 0 0.15 times Q. Now Q, we have a Q1 plus Q2. Q1 is 4 microcolumn or Micro column, so four plus four micro. I'm going to put it outside also as a common factor times 10 to the power negative six. So it's 
So this one, how did I do it again? We have can. Outside as a common factor. Divided by R because same value for the constant. Same value for the distance. Now Q1, the value of Q1 was the value of the Q2. OK, now this one, if you calculate it, it will be 418 kilo volt. Kilo volt. Okay, that's it. We're done with question number nine.